Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be watching Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. So I didn't know this movie existed up until a couple months ago when I was watching Shea Frilla's Productions video on how he ranked the DreamWorks movies. If you've never seen that video, go watch it. It's really funny. But yeah, I've been seeing in my comments, a lot of people have been wanting me to watch this movie and I, I didn't know that it was like that well known. So here I am, I'm ready to watch it. So I saw like the movie poster and judging from the title as well, I'm guessing it's pirate related and I'm always down for some good old fashioned swashbuckling adventure. I've also seen a lot of people saying like the villain in this movie is like super hot. So uh, I'm ready to see for myself. But before we get started, I would like to proudly announce that today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Ah, my very first sponsor, I'm a real YouTuber now. If you didn't already know, Surfshark VPN is an app or browser extension that allows you access to internet on your phone or laptop all over the world as if you were there yourself. And let's be honest here, who wouldn't want to be traveling right now? It also encrypts your data when you're online so that your documents, photos, videos, anything and everything are protected. And I know some of you out there have stuff that you would like to keep private. I see you. I see all of you. I personally love Surfshark because of its ability to let me watch content outside the US. You know how sometimes Netflix just loves taking shows or movies off without any warning whatsoever. I hate that. I remember I was almost done watching Friends and then they took it off and I was like, what the heck? But now I can just hop over to another country and boom, there it is. It even saved the last episode that I was on. Another neat thing about Surfshark is that when you're out and about and you're weary about using public Wi-Fi, no need to look any further because Surfshark can protect your data and privacy so that you can stay safe while being connected. Use my code SOFIAFAN, literally just my name, to get 83% off plus an extra three months free. Free! Surfshark also has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's really no harm in trying it out for yourself. The link will be in the description below if you want to support Surfshark, support me, or support your poor defenseless internet. All right, without further ado, let's get started on Sinbad Legend of the Seven Seas. Does that boy on the moon for the DreamWorks logo ever catch any fish? Every movie, he is fishing, but does he ever catch a fish? Okay, I'm liking the music so far. The mortal world is at peace, but not for long. I pull one tiny thread and their whole world... I see it, guys. I can see how people think she's super hot. Who doesn't love a hot, chaotic woman? A noble prince, a priceless treasure, and a black-hearted thief. Cetus... You know what to do. When she was talking about pulling a string and then everything going into chaos, is it Greek mythology? Because the first thing that I'm thinking of is Hercules, where like they snip the thread of life or whatever. But I'm pretty sure it's not Greek mythology. It has to be some other mythology. Maybe, I don't know actually. Let's get rich! That's the life I got in his mouth. Damn, these pirates are kicking their asses. And you're supposed to be trained for like, the royalty? Do better. Oh, and I was overworking it? I just know someone had a crush on this man. Proteus, how long's it been? About a lifetime ago. Oh my gosh, do they know each other? Is this gonna be a reunion? You disappear for 10 years, show up and rob me? I wish it was- 10 years? Ooh, Sinbad probably went through some things. We had a special handshake, some code words, a secret hideout. It was- Oh man, they used to be besties, but now they're no longer besties. Are they gonna travel together? Am I gonna get some gay vibes from these two? I, 
I did not expect the Kraken to show up. Right? The CGI is not it's terrible. Go spy. What? You're not more concerned about your dog? Your dog was just swinging away. You're just gonna run away? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, you're gonna leave him to die? Bro. Oh shit. No, his escape route to Fiji. Bro, go save your- oh. <laughs> we got our first death, everyone. Never mind, he's still alive. Come on, come on, Simba, let's go. Wait, stand your ground. Let's go. Where are you gonna go? Everyone gonna board on the other ship? I think they dip, didn't they? Lobster boy, over here. Lobster boy? What? That is not a lobster, you idiot. Let's go. Look at that, besties again. Although I do not know how they just ran up that. You're telling me he's tight roping right now? Okay, officially our first death. Not a human, but still counts. Thanks for sticking around. Did he have a choice? Just like old times. No! Oh shit! Oh my gosh, she's big and hot. And you are Eris, the goddess of discord. I don't suppose a heartfelt apology would do. <laughs> heartfelt? From you? Sinbad. You don't have a heart. <laughs> Did she have to roast him like that? That's what I like about you. So, I'm going to let you live. He was stunned for a second. He was like, oh, damn, okay. Steal the book for ransom, and you'll be rich enough to lounge on an island beach. Steal the book for me, and you can buy the beach, and the island, and the world. Would you trust her, though? Because, obviously, like, like, she's the goddess of discord. So, I mean, I feel like lying would be hand in hand with that. Kind of like... Loki, you know? Like, you wouldn't trust Loki. When a goddess gives her word, she's bound for all eternity. He's too distracted by the fact that she's hot, and he wants money, but also she's hot. I really like how she's animated, like how she's really like flowy and she disappears and appears with smoke. He's so cute and so gullible. See? What did I fucking tell? <sighs> Bro, how did he get that far without some distrust? You can't trust everyone. But anyways, because she like can appear and disappear like smoke, I like how the way she is animated reflects that. So the, the book is a lighthouse. I'll bet you 10 crowns you're about to put those swords down. I'll take that bet. God's Put away your swords. Okay, where are his ten crowns? I don't see you for ten years, and now twice in one day? Pfft, you're Bro, oh my god, he saved your life once, and now you're back to being besties? Don't forget, he's here to rob you. Weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to introduce you to my fiance. Excuse me. The Lady Marina Ambassador from Thrace. Have you met before? Were you in love with her or something? I don't know, that, that seemed like a look of like, oh, I've seen you before, not like a, oh shit, I've suddenly fallen in love with my friend's fiance. Who is she? An old girlfriend? Afraid it's not that simple. Oh, oh, I was right, oh my God, so they did know each other. She was just pretending. Is it gonna be a triangle? Come on, we can't be having that in this. Beautiful. I used to imagine sailing far beyond the 12 cities. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe she pulled a Princess Jasmine and escaped, and that's where she met him. Our marriage was arranged many years ago. I don't want you to do this just because it's your duty. I'm asking you for myself now. Will you marry me? Oh, uh, we, we already know. She's gonna end up with Sinbad. They're gonna introduce another man and then the woman and Sinbad and her have history. Yeah, no, bro. Proteus is kind of fucked in this regard. I'm sorry, you're not getting it. <laughs> you're not getting the girl. <laughs> Sucks. And the fact that she's like 
She kind of manipulates the shadows too. It's really cool. Oh no, he getting framed. Oh shoot, I thought he was gonna actually die. But I guess they need a witness. First, I actually commit a crime, and then you get to blame me for it. And how do you explain this? Eris, she framed me. Oh. Listen to yourself. He, he caught on pretty fast. Okay, okay, he's not a complete idiot. The delegation of the 12 cities finds you guilty of treason, and we sentence you to die. Take me in his place. Huh? You claim that Eris stole the book? Steal it back. I will not be responsible for your life. You would do the same for me. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> If Sinbad is alive, well, he's honest. Sinbad either stole the book, or he's telling the truth, and it's in Tartarus. Every time they say Tartarus, I think of tartar sauce, and it just makes me really hungry. Mmm, fish and chips. You realize that if Sinbad does not return, you will be put to death in his place. Mm -hmm. Sinbad has ten days to return the book. Well, how far is Tartarus? Is she about to stow away on his ship or something? People get killed in Tartarus. So where are we going? Fiji. But you have no money. Oh, then the women. They're cannibals in that. Exactly. I knew it. Because we're going to Fiji. Just as I thought. So Maddie you're not a very complicated guy. All someone has to do is imagine the most gutless course of action and you're bound to take it. Hey, this is not- I mean, say Sinbad goes to Tartarus, yeah? And then he doesn't make it. He dies. It looks like a lose-lose situation. So I really can see Sinbad's line of thinking, even if it's a little scummy. Okay, honestly, I feel so bad for Proteus because he stuck his neck out for his friend. He's like, I'm- I believe you. I will die in your place. And then Sinbad was gonna abandon him and now he's about to steal his woman. <laughs> Bro, man, I totally thought Proteus had a bigger role in this, but I guess, I guess the gay undertones has to be between Sinbad and that dude, for sure. Let's provide some mood music. Look lively, get, get the long pole. Oh yeah. She's way hotter with her hair down. I feel like every time a character puts their hair up, like, like really tidy, I don't know. It just does not do it for me. It just doesn't. Flowing hair, put down, always attractive. Also, I did not expect her to have short hair. I thought, I thought her hair would be long, but I guess if she's gonna join this swashbuckling crew, her hair needs to be short. Nothing is more annoying than seeing a girl fight and not have her hair back. I'm looking at you, live action Mulan. Yeah, uh, these men are down bad if they think they want to fuck some water woman. <laughs> See, look at that. Look at that. Sinbad is stealing your woman, Proteus. Okay, just because it's a children's animated movie, I will allow it, but that ship would not have survived that. And you thought you could have gone forward without her. My precious. Wake up, you idiot! Oh. Idiot. Marina saved us. Marina saved us. And then she went and made the band Marina and the Diamonds. I also like how her name is related to the ocean. Still think a ship's no place for a woman? Oh, absolutely. These moldings came all the way from Damascus. Do you have any idea what I went through to steal these? That's exactly why women shouldn't drive. This man does not know how to be grateful. Even the dog is like, bro. What? Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Don't worry about it. I won't. Good. <laughs> Good <laughs> you know those men would be gossiping. Oh my gosh, that is an ass. A crew of my most trusted officers will take you far from Syracuse. The Sinbad you knew as a child is, is a still in him as a man. He has a lot of faith. He has a lot of faith putting it in the hands of a friend that he hasn't seen in 10 years. 
10 years is a long time. People change in that time. I'm not the same person I was a year or two ago. So 10 years. Uh. See what blind faith gets you. You're in jail and your woman's about to get taken. Where do you think you're going? Well, fine. At least take someone with you. Right this way. Nah, they are down bad. I assure you. The sirens were the first time that had been touched by a woman in a very long time, I'm assuming. I've seen the highborn boys your type hangs out with. <laughs> I'm the only man you've ever met. What did he mean by that? <laughs> What the fuck? Are they on an animal? Oh fuck, I was just guessing. Is it like a giant anglerfish or something? <laughs> yo, yo, oh my god. Kale! Yes, Kale, you sexy man, do something. <laughs> they just left the other people. Oh, okay, they made it. <laughs> Wait, it was literally- they thought it was daytime? A whole time? Oh my god, I feel like that's a little dangerous. Like, what if- what if the anglerfish goes underwater all of a sudden? They're kind of fucked at that point. The men can't take much more! Uh, I can't take much more either! Imagine they were going for so long that they actually missed Tartarus and they just had to they had to make a u-turn whose idea was that again? I don't know, but he owes me lunch How did you two ever meet? How did you two ever meet? That's what I want to know. I want to know the backstory a sword at my throat at my chest at my pickles and eggs <laughs> Adult joke. He actually climbed down the castle wall to fight at my side. We were best friends from that day forward. Apparently not very good best friends because you dipped for 10 years. Oh my god, did Proteus's dad like bribe him to leave him alone or something? Enough talk. Oh gosh, she's taking a bath in the universe. That's some goals. Oh, get a shirt on before you poke someone's eye out. He said, Kale, your nipples are too hard. I guess going in the water would be better. You'd risk hypothermia, but at least you wouldn't be eaten by a giant bird. Oh, yikes. And it's not like she'd want to get loose. She's so high up. Oh no, she'd be so cold. Give me a hug. Uh, excuse me. See? Yes. Who wouldn't want a hug, Kale? Rena's looking the other way. Yo, go get your woman, Sinbad. Sorry, Proteus. You're rescuing me. Yes, if that's what you want to call it. This is not the time. In the hands of an expert, a good knife has a thousand and one uses. Oh. Did you pick up your knife at least? Are you gonna use your shield as like a like a snowboard? Like in Scooby-Doo! Okay, him on top, okay. <laughs> they weren't excited for Sinbad, oh my gosh. Okay, Eris, all your plans have been going badly so far. I think it's time for you to personally come through, you know? This life suits you. I've always loved the sea. I even dreamed of a life on it. Oh yeah, see? Oh my god. Proteus, no! Ooh, what's happening? Oh, I thought they were gonna do a little dance or something. You know, I've traveled the world, seen things no other man has seen. Nothing compares to the open sea. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say nothing compares to you, baby girl. I was never jealous of him though, until one morning a ship came into harbor. The ship with his future on it. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Oh, and then he realized he didn't have a future? What was on the ship? You. Proteus met you at the dock. I jumped on the first outbound ship and never looked back. 
he left because of her? So wait, so she didn't know who he was? Sinbad, you're a little crazy for that, bro. You didn't even talk to her. You just saw her and you're like, all right, I'm, I'm going, I'm gone. What, Sinbad? <laughs> All the, all the decisions. I think this is the, the- I think that one was the worst one. What? Romantic, nonetheless, but I mean, still. It's the edge of the world! Oh shit. Pay up. It's flat. <laughs> Follow that star beyond the horizon. Beyond the horizon. So... Keep going straight? Are they gonna fly? They're gonna pull some Peter Pan shit? Some treasure planet flying. They are flying. <laughs> no fucking way. I just got goosebumps from the music. Okay, so like once they get the book, how are they getting out? I'm coming with you. And don't tell me the realm of chaos no place for a woman. I would never say that. That was kind of smooth. That was kind of smooth, not gonna lie. Honestly, anything involving Eris is like really cool. The way Tartarus looks and her own animation, they really did like a really good job when it came to her. Oh fuck. Oh my god, it's the um, terracotta statues. Okay, I, I like how um, these creatures are constellations, I believe. Make yourself at home. Bro, her purple dress is um, kind of fire. I kind of want to look like that. Proteus couldn't help being ever so noble, and you couldn't help betraying him. But I didn't betray Proteus. I didn't run away. Oh, but you did betray him. You stole his only life. That's what I'm saying. That is what I am saying. He's not even in his grave yet. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god, am I Eris? She said the exact same thing I've been saying all movie. I'll ask you a question. One simple question. If you answer truthfully, the book is yours. Give me your word. You have my word as a goddess. If you don't get the book, you have a choice to make. Either sail to paradise with the woman of your dreams, or return to Syracuse to die. Obviously, he's gonna be the noble person, and he would go back for Proteus. I will go back. You're lying! Okay, before like watching this, I briefly looked up this movie and I saw who was doing the voice acting and everything. I know Brad Pitt is not bad, and Michelle Pfeiffer, I believe she's voicing Eris. Bro, Michelle Pfeiffer is kind of a beast when it comes to like these seductive type characters. Her voice is perfect, honestly. Real femme fatale shit. Why should you or Proteus or anyone have to die? I can't watch you die. I love you. But could you love a man who would run away? He got her there. He got her there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The design for Proteus, he looks like a character from Ants. And I'm <laughs> they're, they're both dream work, so I know... I know there has to be some sort of correlation there. How did that tiny knife cut through that handle? Oh yeah, and then Ralph Finnis? Fin I can't pronounce his name, but yeah, he voices him. I can recognize his voice. You came back anyway. How could I do anything else? My friend. Hmm. Because he came back, doesn't that mean he gets the book because Eris promised? <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Oh my gosh, she looks mad as hell. I didn't lie. I came back. And wasn't there something about being bound for all eternity? <laughs> In her fist is the book. Pow! This has got to be a little embarrassing for you, Eris. Actually. Okay, but like, how are you gonna- how are you gonna deal with the fact that he stole your woman? Come on, Proteus. Come on, let's get to that. 
Let's live. I want to see how Proteus reacts. I offer you the gratitude of the 12 cities and the apology of a king. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your apology. Come on, give him that money. Good sailing, Sinbad. That's a beautiful backdrop. The artwork for like the backgrounds and stuff is really nice. I think that's like a really, that's a strong point in this movie. The artwork is very aesthetic. You know, I stood here with a woman once. She sailed the seas. She fell in love. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for him. She's about to come swinging onto the boat. Oh, rat! Look! Oh! These joints were from the Jasmine Sea. That's halfway around the world. Then we better get started. That means going through the Hydra's lair, mm -hmm. the Minotaur's haven, mm -hmm. the Cyclops' den. Okay, okay. He was naming some Greek mythological creatures, so maybe this is. I'll just look it up. I'll just look it up. <laughs> Swashbuckling theme. Oh my god, guys. That was... That was good. That was pretty good, actually. Okay, I just looked up the voice actor list for this movie, so I was right. Brad Pitt is Sinbad. Catherine Zeta-Jones was Marina. Okay, so I was right that uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is Eris. Also, I was... <laughs> I knew it was one of the fine but fines. I thought it was Ralph, but that's... That's the actor for Lord Voldemort, but it's Joseph Fiennes, who played the commander in The Handmaid's Tale. Okay, also, I had to look up if this was based off of anything because I got so <laughs> I got roasted in my Treasure Planet comment section about how I didn't know the plot to Treasure Island. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't read Treasure Island, and that was the first adaptation that I've seen of it, so, you know. So I looked it up and Sinbad was like a Middle Eastern story, but then Eris is a Greek goddess. So, um, love that. Love that mixture of mythologies. That was pretty good. I was pretty entertained. I liked the characters. Um, the artwork was probably my favorite. I think it was really nice to look at, especially anything that involved Eris. Top three hottest characters. There's Eris, Marina, and then Kale. I mean, Sinbad's attractive too, but like... Kale. There was one thing that I didn't like about the movie. The way that everything got resolved at the end with Eris and everything, I feel like it was kind of anticlimactic. I kind of wish there was more fighting or I don't know. I kind of wish Eris had more of an active role. Like even though she did cause things to happen, like she sent the Kraken over to them or she like she did all this stuff to like mess with them. She still felt like a more passive character. I kind of wish she was more active or that she did more face to face with them. But overall, I think the movie was pretty interesting. Okay, I take it back. Rewatching the movie through editing, I realized that the whole movie is about morality and Sinbad's battle with morality, whether or not he should actually go fight Eris to get the book back, die trying, or just escape and save his own life. And the ending with Eris was actually kind of perfect because he confronted that morality and he chose to do the right thing. But I do stand by my statement that Eris was a passive character. She definitely could have been more active. And I do think that there definitely could have been more action leading up to the confrontation with Eris, but I did end up liking the ending, so yeah. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want. Thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Remember to check out the link below in the description and I will see you guys for the next video.